This conference will now be recorded. Hi guys, my name is Ravi and today in this video I'm going to explain you about how to move uh, you know, bot or task from one environment to another environment like you know uh, dev to a uh, broad environment like that okay so this is basically one of the request from uh, my one of the youtube viewer so he's asking like you know how to uh, get in bot from control room or how to move bot from one environment to another environment so i'm going to show you step by step uh, information just follow the process and you'll be able to understand how it is working so to do this uh, demo or uh, the task i'm going to use automation anywhere 10.7 version Okay, so this is my automation anywhere tool and the control room which currently I have logged in uh, that is 10.5 Okay, so Let me uh, tell you something about uh, you know, I mean how to schedule bot from Or move bot from one environment to another environment. Okay, so basically what we have to do we have to develop a bot okay, by using the developer access Okay, so basically I have created a bot which is going to perform certain tasks okay so this bot is already ready okay so now next is what i am going to do i am going to move that particular task you know from uh, one environment to another environment and that i will trigger from control room so basically i am going to schedule or run that particular task from the control room so uh, okay so one more thing guys i just wanted to tell you here is you know in case if you want to schedule or trigger bot from control room so you should have a bot runner user okay or the license okay and the client or a machine where your automation anywhere is installed that should have bot run, bot runner license installed okay so let me go to client so i can show you the uh, system where i have installed the automation anywhere so currently i'm using only one system you can see this is my system name and here i have created two uh, different roles one is for bot creator another is bot runner okay so basically i'm using one machine to uh, show you how you know bot creator and bot runner is working so if i go to user management here you can see that first user admin uh, that is basically i'm using uh, that admin to do a development work okay and the second user which i have created uh you know uh, to show you this uh, demo which is having a license type is run type a runtime license okay let me click here so i can show you so you can see here uh the name and the details i have given here if i click here the license information you can see here i have selected the runtime okay a license type as a runtime and here i have added the meta bot and the iq bot so okay now coming back to this first uh, uh, user which is having development access so i just wanted to show you so here instead of bot runner i have selected the development access okay so now you understood uh, the difference between bot runner and the bot creator okay so now coming back to automation anywhere so this is the task which i have created uh, already which will do some you know certain task basically that uh, a particular task, what it will do, it will uh, log in to this particular web-based application and it will fetch some information from this Excel and it will field the data into this system. Once it will done, what will trigger an email from, uh, uh, you know, from the uh, automation anyway. Okay. So this is the task. So currently I have logged in by using the developer access, okay? But to uh, schedule or run task from control room or uh, perform that those type of activities i have to uh, you know move to a bot runner access okay so that i can do it from here if you click on relogin option it will ask you for the username and the password so my admin is a developer name okay by using that admin name i was uh, using this to develop the bot okay so let me delete this now i am going to use I am going to basically log into automation anywhere by using the bot runner access uh, user ID. Okay. So let me put the details. Once I click logged in, it will. Okay, now you can see login successful. Once I click on this OK, 
you can see here only will get the run option now currently you can see like new record edit all this information is there along with the run so basically bot runner is having only access to trigger a bot you can only run a bot from the bot access however you will not get you are not authorized to make any changes to existing task or you will be not allowed to create a new task okay. let me click okay so now you can see all those options go gone from here now only run option is here so as i have logged into same uh, automation anywhere client but only i have changed the user so my task is already here okay no need to uh, move this task from dev to qa so basically this is my qa environment okay testing environment okay so my task is already there i just want to upload this task into control room okay so i can schedule or run it from there so to do that you have to go to manage okay once you go to manage you will get an option called repository okay if you click on repository you can see all those tasks whatever develop okay and uh, you know i mean these things we need to in case if you are moving from dev to qa manually then you have to move this task by a control room or you can do it by copy paste also okay so from here you have what you have to do you have to select the required task which you want to upload into a control room so to trigger any task or run any task from control room you have to first upload that particular task in a control room by uh, following this method so you have to go to manage then repository okay once you click on repository you will get this box okay so let me select this task okay once you click on upload it will upload this task into control room okay so now you can see here in this particular task i have used the metabot okay so basically it is asking me to select that metabot also so i have selected that metabot okay now let me click on upload it will take some time and it will upload the same into control room so now you can see like uh, we got the message upload successful okay. so let me close this okay now i am going back to automate so i i am back to that uh, normal page okay now let me go to control room okay the same task which i have just now uploaded into control room that i can view from the repository manager okay. so this is the task okay which i have uploaded into the control room before uh, running any task or scheduling anything just go to client okay just kindly have a look whether uh, this client is green or red once you logged into that particular you know uh, server or a client it it will automatically change to green so currently i have logged into bot runner okay with the bot runner uh, access okay now let me go back to repository manager let me select this Okay. so after selecting this uh, particular task if you click on uh, i mean after that you have to click on action you can see from here run and schedule so currently i'm going to click on a run so basically run will instantly run your a uh, task okay so let me show you the schedule part also okay let me click once again i'm going here and clicking on schedule so if you see this we are having uh, you know uh, some information which we need to fill here it's like in case if you want to schedule this particular task you have to put the name so uh, let me try with that uh, schedule part okay test run so uh, recurrence i'm not putting anything because this uh, this will be one time you can see the date it is taking today's date and schedule time it's like uh, you know 11 to uh, 12 pm so let me change to like uh, 11 to 10 okay so after uh, filling this uh, details what you have to do you have to select the server or a bot runner machine where your automation anywhere install with the bot runner access so this is the particular uh, box okay where uh, i have installed the automation with the bot runner access let me select this also once i click on save it will uh, give you a message okay it's uploaded successfully
now you can see it automatically take us into a task schedule uh, uh, you know tab so here you can see your task is scheduled so you can see the details and everything is available here okay. if i expand this you can see so 2315 is my uh, task run time okay so let me uh, come here the same thing you can see it from here also okay from the upcoming task in the meantime let me close uh, my you know this particular uh, page so bot can automatically uh, as per the you know assigned time it will log in here and it will do the required uh, action as per that particular uh, task okay so this is the excel let me close this excel So as soon as this uh, task will start running, okay. So you will see, uh, you know, here like percentage or uh, details of that particular task which is running, along with the details like percentage of the progress, okay, status. Once it will complete, it will uh, shown as like you know completed or failed. In case if it will fail, it will throw an error. So good thing is here, you know, no need to do anything. I mean, bot will automatically, uh, you know, as per the schedule time, it will uh, start uh, started running and it will perform the required task. So let's wait. I think it's like 30 seconds more to go to run that particular task. So here we go. You can see now it started running. So bot is opening uh, that require web page to uh, sign in. So now you can see uh, bot is uh, going to perform the required action. So basically, it is going to fill that uh, data from the Excel into the Excel. Okay. So uh, this is the one of the uh, way we can upload bot from you know one environment to another environment. Okay. So let's wait for some time. Let's complete this task bot. Okay. Once it complete, then I'll show you uh, more details uh, from the control room on this.
so uh, this this will be the last record which bot is going to feel because i kept five data in that particular input excel okay so as soon as this will finish i'll i'll go to control room and i'll show you the status and more details uh, from the control room so we can understand how uh, this happened As I'm thankful to uh, the viewer who has requested to create uh, this type of video. This is very interesting, and you know, uh, if you are a developer, like especially in you are working in RPA, so you should know how to move bot from one environment to another environment, and how to schedule bot in a prod or QA environment. These are very important information, or the you know, uh, it's very important to know these things uh, being a developer. So guys, in case if you think you are having any topic or anything which you want to know or you want to learn, so definitely I will work on that. I need your help. Just go and post in comment section. Okay. So from there, what I can do, I will uh, read your messages and I can work on that. Okay. So guys, I think I am getting some uh, you know error because uh, I made some changes with that email option. Okay. So that is the reason this is coming as error. So no problem. Let me uh, go to the control room. Okay. So now let me check that particular uh, details of a task. Okay. If I go to task history, you can see that particular task. Okay, which I uh, you know is, uh, assigned that is say, uh, saying as failed because of that you know email settings I have to do because I change from you know a bot developer to bot runner. So to do that, like I have to make some small changes. You can see here in this email part also. Okay, so uh, that's fine. Like my motto was to show you how to schedule uh, that particular bot uh, from the control room. I mean, basically from you know uh, we can uh, move uh, that require information from uh, one environment to another environment. So we can see more details from the audit log. Okay, so audit trial actually. Okay, if you see here that bot which I have uploaded. You can see here, like uh, this is the run schedule. Okay, I have created the schedule. So these things are available here. Okay. I hope uh, you are able to understand the things how we are uh, moving board from one environment to another environment and how uh, uh, you know I have scheduled that particular board. Okay. So uh, I just I just uh, wanted to say uh, thank you very much for your help and support. And I am requesting my, you know, viewers to kindly subscribe my channel. In case if you are having any query or any suggestions, please go ahead and uh, post in comment section. Especially in case if you want me to create any video, um, you know, specific to your topic or your requirement. So I would be very happy to work on uh, your requirements. Kindly go ahead and post those details in comment section. I will work on that. But don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.